Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this tutorial, we are going to connect all points of a point cloud with a network that is using the minimal amount of edges and the minimal distances from each point to the next. Let me just show you this in action. So this is how it's building up. It's always looking for the next closest point and it's connecting from the network until all points are consumed. So let's just uh, recreate this by setting up a new session and inside a geometry node we will use the attribute randomize to set up a point cloud. We'll just use a few hundred points and make it a bit smaller to keep the overview. First of all we are going to set up a point group by the name food and we are going to exclude the first point as a starting point of our network. You can see it here. And now in a for loop, we are going to ask each point for the distance towards this growing network, basically. So the white point is the first point, so to speak, of the network. And once it has been connected, then all the remaining points will also check whether they are the next closest neighbor. So we are going to use a for loop and we will set the iterations to the number of points minus one because we need that amount of that number of segments and the attribute wrangle should be set to detail because we cannot calculate this all at once we just work our way through and connect line by line. Now, first of all, we want to know the, all the points that are part of the shrinking food group. So expand point group on our geometry stream by the name food. And what we are doing now is we will iterate over all points within that array. before each function will just go through over this and call each point PT. And um, we cannot write V at P to get its position, but we have to, because we are in a detail wrangle, first of all, use the point function to ask for the position of our currently checked point. And next we want to know its nearest neighbor using near PT or near point and we are only interested in points that are not part of the food group and of course we are measuring this from the position of our point and then we also want once we found it want to know the position of the near point so point zero p of pt near is what we need to next measure the distance between both points so we would just use the distance function and measure between pos and pos near now let's make a little check whether this distance is smaller than a minimum so we are optimizing for a minimum that is being defined outside the loop. 1e5, which is a very large number, is the initial value. And then if the distance is below and after checking several more points is uh, maybe overwritten. So we will just use uh, overwrite distmin by the new record, so to speak, like the newly uh, gathered distance that has been shorter than our current minimum. And we also want to store the points that are part of this. So PT and PT1 will be the points of our potential new line segment. Now, of course, 
also both of these points need to be defined beforehand outside the loop as well. So PT and PT1 will be initialized to minus one, which can never be part of a existing geometry. The point numbers are starting with zero, as you know. And now, of course, potentially uh, these point numbers will be overwritten quite a few times by new points that are closer by. But once all these or the entire loop has been run through, it's safe to connect both points to a new polyline. So PT0 and PT1 can be accessed. The reason we cannot refer to PT near or PT directly is because these are only existing inside the for each loop. This is why we are basically having this block being updated uh, inside this loop, but stored outside. All right, um, now we should be able to see the first connection. You can see it here. Um, and it's actually lots of lines on top of each other because we didn't exclude the winner point from the food group once it has been connected. So let's just do that. It's the food group and the PT0 we are interested in and we'll set it to zero, which means it's not longer part of the food group. All right, you can see this has uh, been connecting all the points with a minimal spanning tree. All right, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, just ask him on the YouTube. Uh, comments or come over to the Otforce forums if it's something more complicated. Thank you for watching.